All right. All right. Welcome to. Oh my god. Of course. Of course. Well, well. This happened. Welcome to yet another video. This time I chose to remove the address and things like that. Game Boys and DS Lite, maybe. Uh, I can't remember, to be honest. Let's just get started, to be honest. I got everything I need to test. There will be videos of these Game Boys. Try to not cut too deep. Uh, looks good. Let's start with the first one, which is this one. And I chose it to be the first one. Let's just get right into it. Oh, I remember ordering this one. This is a boxed. This is a boxed Game Boy Pocket. I need to save the bubble wrap so I can ship parcels in them. Oh my, it, wait, it's still in the film? No, this can't be original, right? No, it's not. Well, I'll be opening this one in the end. Damn, it looks nice. And this is the other things. Three Game Boys. This one has some stickers on it. Let's start with this one first. I'm pretty sure the Game Boy Pocket works, by the way, because I have. Uh, I wouldn't order a box Game Boy Pocket if it wouldn't work, or it was just in extremely good condition. Okay, I'll just deal with this later. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't look too good. There's some corrosion right there, if you can see that. But I can fix that as long as it isn't covering the motherboard. Screen looks fine, no burning. Let's put in the batteries. I'll of course clean everything here. I'm not able to make this one work. Let's try different batteries. Okay, this one doesn't look like it's working. So, I'm gonna have to test this one later. Or it might just be the power switch that needs a good clean or the battery terminal. But everything else looks fine, I think. I'll get it running. Alright, now let's look at these. First one, pop these bad boys in, and a game. This game this time, received it today, it's a multi cart, if you know what that is. Oh, the battery just popped out. Oh, of course it does. All right, it works. Just a battery terminal that needs to be cleaned. So everything else works. Okay, and it just died, but that's because the battery terminal, as you can see, it turns off, turns on, needs to be cleaned. So I will be doing that soon now two Game Boy originals which is really good because i needed those both screens oh this one has something like glue or something oh yeah someone tried to put in the lens with glue but that's an easy fix oh and i pushed this one in too deep so it just fell out but i have double-sided tape so it's an extremely easy fix but i will be cleaning it anyways because look at the shell so, it doesn't matter. And it's good that it fell off for me, because if it would have fallen off for the customer, then that's no good. Uh, 
I'm not able to turn it on right now. Oh, never mind. Contrast wheel does not work, but the LED is on, so this one is probably going to work. These have lots of different problems, but almost all of them, if not all of them, no, probably not all of them, but they're easy, they're easy fixes. So this one, I'm considering it as working and, I mean, not in good condition, but it works. Next one, battery terminal looks not too bad. I've seen worse. Motherboard, should look at that first. Looks all right. You always need to look for the Nintendo logo. If you see that the motherboard is either corroded or it has some of the motherboard, oh, what is it called? Mask, motherboard mask falling off, then that means it is maybe, maybe not gonna work. Even though I've had those work. Okay, yeah, uh, I give up on this one, on testing this one, but it is just probably like the battery terminal or the switch, because everything else looks fine. Uh, yeah, I've had these no sign of life, but after a bit of cleaning, it works a hundred percent. Next one. I'll be getting about five more packages soon. I'm trying not to cut too deep into them. Oh, I was cutting in the wrong place. And as you can see, no cut, so I'm Still careful. Oh, this one is good packaging. Everything here is packaged, so we can just start from the top. Okay. Oh my god. Right. Okay, a box. Game Boy Color. Damn. I'm only 17, so I've never seen a Game Boy Color box in person. And I'm still collecting these, right? So it is, I thought it would be bigger. And there is a Game Boy inside, as there should be. I'm not sure what to look for, but it's a bit yellowed. Uh, I will be taking it out of the box and test the Game Boy after I've checked out the other ones. Oh, I can see another box, Game Boy. So yeah, cool. Let's start with this. This is a Game Boy Advance SP charger or a, a DS Lite charger, uh, but this one is for the SP. Oh. And the SP works. It is an AGS 001, 001, as I call it. This is another Game Boy original. This one screen looks fine. Oh, lens fell out when I hit it. I will always have to test these by a little hit test. If it falls right off, then oh, okay. This one has some corrosion in the terminal and A bit on the motherboard so huh actually not so sure oh <laughs> and it works this is the the one that is corroded is the one that works this means it just needs a bit of I mean a lot of cleaning but, I mean, if it works, it works. I can sell it. First try. I mean, the battery terminal, as you can see, it's not 100% working. But that's because it needs a, a little clean. It has a bit corrosion. Alright. Till now, four Game Boy Originals. And this is the, 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 the fifth one okay the box is not that good oh and there was tape on it 
Oof, okay. There's a charger with it. I mean, we can start with opening this one since we have no more Game Boys. You can see this well. Over here. Yup, you can see it well. Original box, of course. Okay, right off, the lens came off. It is used, I can already tell from the used buttons. The lens looks all right, actually. Screen, a lot of dust, but looks all right. Battery terminal. Damn, it's like black on the inside and everything. If I can't get it to boot right now, then that just means it needs what? And guess what? A bit of cleaning. So. And I get it to boot right away. Didn't even have to flick around the batteries. I mean, now I do, but damn. So, okay, this one needs a bit of cleaning on the battery terminal. I will be cleaning it inside out. It even has the little cover for the X EXT connector. I just call it the link port. So, because you link it to another Game Boy. So, all right, I'll be careful with this one because I'll sell it for about $150. I'm expecting that much. Because, you know, I have to clean them. I have to do well, a lot of work. And it does not have the charger, but I have a Game Boy, I mean, yeah, I have a Game Boy soon that will be coming with one. So I might just bundle them together. Uh, there is no, uh, I know there are supposed to be like a manual or something like that, but there is nothing. So bad news, good news, not sure. I mean, probably bad news, but it doesn't really matter. Not that many that care about that type of stuff. It's Christmas soon, so a lot of people are looking for box Game Boys just because they're boxed. They don't care about the manual. So, all right, the Game Boy Color. I'll try to not touch any of the, of the tape. Okay, the box is looking a bit worse right off the bat. Okay, here we have the Game Boy. It's used, I can tell already. But it has a manual. How do I take this out without destroying it? Wait, maybe the bottom. Am I right? Let's try to not damage the box. Yep. Oh, there it is. <gasps> okay. And we have a model number two. And this. And it matches. Damn. Screen lens, a bit of scratches, but better than uh, average. Battery terminal looks good. The motherboard this time looks good. Not like the video before this one where the battery terminal was absolutely destroyed. So, first boot. Oh, and it already works because the on switch was on. So, we already know. I haven't even had to test it with the game. Should I even deep clean this one? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Even though this one is original, I'll, I'll still deep clean it. Just because, I mean, people want clean Game Boys. Like, if you're buying this as a gift, or, I mean, if, if you're collecting Game Boys, then maybe you want it dirty, I don't know, but... Because the thing that I do, I unscrew them. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll just not box them together. I'll just put them on my bed, and I'll fix them up real nice, because I don't want to record, I mean, waste y'all's time. I'm afraid that this is how it's supposed to be, actually. Swear to God, if I open this and it's supposed to have this wrap, it's not, though, right? Okay, I mean, let, let me check first on the internet so I don't mess it up. Because if it still has its original seal, 
then I really don't want to open it, you know? That loses me a lot of money. All right, so no, it is not sealed, or at least if it is, then it's not sealed like this with tape. So I was right, but I'll still try to be extremely careful. Uh, and I, uh, I did not order one that was sealed. If I would have, then I would know. Okay, I don't want to damage this. So. I don't want to damage it. Rips out knife. It's, yeah, but... Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is that with some of these... Okay. I am extremely careful. Don't worry. No Game Boys were harmed in the making of this video. I am not touching the real, like, Game Boy box. Just the outer. Because I don't want to sit here for five minutes trying to unbox it. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. So, it didn't look like it through the tape thingy. Yeah, and I can tell it has been wiped, and I think it's supposed to be, yeah, the other way around, so it's 100% not, it wasn't sealed. Game Boy looks extremely good, extremely good, so, right off the bat, you know, nope. And it works, no vertical lines. And those are rare on the Game Boy anyways. Let's test sound, because it was off. It works. I mean, let's check from manual, so I can see if the uh, serial numbers match. And there isn't one, no, okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, my bad. So the Game Boy is supposed to be like this, right? Is it? Or am I tripping? Oh, damn. The box is like not that bent. Two, so. Well. That was a cool unboxing. I have some Game Boys to fix now. So I'll be making a video on these. Those. Not these. Those. So. Yeah. I. All of these should be extremely easy fixes. For those that need a fix. So yeah. I'm extremely happy. I got all of this for like. Da, 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 like maximum like three hundred dollars i would say no not even three hundred dollars for all of those i mean there's a reason i'm reselling this stuff you know because i need to make money and i earn about uh about 50 percent if that's how you count it i'm not even sure how you count uh, how much you earn from a product but i get them for about thirty dollars ish and on average i sell them for about 60 to 70 dollars so yeah I'm not sure if that's 50 percent profit or 100 because they count it in a weird way you know so but yeah uh thanks for watching uh stay tuned for another video i'll be fixing four dmgs it won't take a lot of time or no three dmgs or no four no no five i'm not good at math uh even though I got a 4 out of 6, so pretty happy with that. But, and uh, one uh, advance, cleaning a Game Boy Advance SP, cleaning another Game Boy Color, and I won't be cleaning the pocket, because it only needs a bit of isopropyl alcohol on it. So, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? I will be getting a lot of more parcels soon. So stay tuned, I hope y'all enjoyed, and thank you guys for watching.
See you later. Uh, bye.